If it exists, it probably has a magazine. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. For reasons I'm not yet quite clear on, we were featured in a German glamour magazine. That's me right there. There we are. That's me, that's Link with his old hair, and then that's Louie over there. It's all in German, so I don't know what it says, but it probably says, man, that guy needs to change his haircut, but you took care of Boom, that. Boom, I did it. Because it's glamour. Uh, not a joke, that's not a joke. But uh, there are a lot of magazines out there that you might think are jokes. Uh, and we're gonna play a game today to try to figure out, Link, how well do you know the magazine world? All right, let's do it. I like to call it, is Link keen on the magazine scene? Link, uh, here's what's at stake today. If you get six out of 10 of these correct, you just tell me whether they're, are you okay? Yeah, I'm just, I figured I'd do something while you were telling me about the Or you could listen, that the would game. be, the thing that I would say is to listen. I was listening, if you I can do this and listen. If you get six out of 10 right, uh, you win a magazine subscription! What? To what? To one of the magazines that is real on here. Okay. Okay, let's start with Spudman. Spudman is the national magazine for potato growers, packers, shippers, and processors. Spudman. It sounds like a comic book. I've got an idea for a comic book uh, called Mr. Potato Head. Well, that's that's taken. Okay, then Spudman. Yeah. Um, so right off the bat, um, this is this is false. There is a magazine for that, but that's not what it's called. You're wrong, Link. Spudman is real and also sexist. Uh, I think it should be Spud People or Spud Person, personally. But uh, it is real. Really? A recent article is titled, Mars Needs Tubers, where they dig deep to the root of the film The Martian. Here's a quote from the article. All in all, I have to give the filmmaker a D for his handling of potato dormancy issues. <laughs> <laughs> wow, there's, they, people care. That's potato real. people care about potato things. Here you go, emu oh. today and tomorrow. This is the emu industry's leading agriculture trade magazine since 1989. It's not emu, it's emu, like pew. Emu today, gone tomorrow? Uh -huh. No, I didn't, no. <laughs> no. No, no, not gone tomorrow. Emu today and tomorrow. Oh, so it doesn't die. It's like what's happening in the emu no, this, industry this now is, and then is, in the future. All right, this is, this is for reals. It is real, Link. Um, here's an article uh, from a recent issue. What's on the menu? Emu meat. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty obvious. Yeah, that's the answer. Yeah, I mean. That's always on the menu for emu farmers. Okay. It's apparently a lot like beef, but leaner. La, almost la, la, said la, cleaner. La, la, la. Almost said cleaner. Okay, button. all right. So but I'm they're a bird, Link. One for two, emu is a bird? It's a big bird, but it's like beef. Huh. How about this one? Matryoshka collector. A monthly magazine filled with handmade Matryoshka dolls. That's a Russian nesting doll. Mm. Created by artists from around the world. Well, Matryoshka collector. They're collector's items. Uh, they're Real a, fake. They're, a, they're a, a long held art form. Hmm. I'm gonna say this is, I'm gonna say this is fake, but I think it, I don't know. You're on a roll, Link! It is fake. fake! But if it were real, Issue 66 would have had an article called The Shocking Surgery to Turn One Family into an Actual Set of Matryoshka Dolls. Ooh. Ooh, wow. You it's don't want to be dark. the little one in that family. <laughs> really, you don't want to be any of them. No, you don't. You don't want to be the big one or the little one. Nope, nope. I'd, well, I'd want to the be the The little one, one actually doesn't have to have any surgery. He's just put in there. So I do want to be the little one in the Matryoshka family. But you don't, you, the views aren't great from no, in there. not, at the belly button. Portable restroom operators, PRO, it's an acronym, magazine, PRO magazine. PRO serves owners and managers of businesses that rent and service portable restrooms and related items. Porta John uh, Weekly? Is it monthly? What is it? Portable restroom operators. I don't know how often it publishes. It seems like this would be a pamphlet or like a f uh, internet forum, but like a full blown glossy magazine with just Porta Johns on the cover. <coughs> I can't see that <coughs> happening, man. False. You're wrong, Link. It's real. It's real. And it is probably the only publication in existence that features a full page advertisement for urinal cakes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask for those at the bakery, kids. Mmm, urinal cakes. I've never been tempted to bite one of those. I don't really ever, I don't ever call them cakes. I don't want to call them cakes. Do you aim for them? 
Oh yeah, or I do tear you... them apart. Really? <laughs> like a bullseye. <laughs> you try to. Bu- I, cre- I turn them you into donuts. You bore tunnel. <laughs> you to- you bore. I turn t- urinal cakes into donuts. <laughs> Put that on a t-shirt. Turning urinal cakes into donuts since one, 1977. One relief session okay. at a time. Muggleborn, the unofficial Harry Potter fan Harry Potter. magazine. Uh, mm-hmm. Non-licensed, fan-centric, bi-monthly Harry Potter magazine, including fan fiction, fan-created artwork, and cosplay. Yes, cosplay. Yeah, um, that's not I, cosplay. It's cosplay. I, I, I know this one to be true because I subscribe to it. Uh, it is true. We made that one up, Link. <laughs> we made it up. I but, made up that I subscribe to it. But if it were real, it should be real. I mean, if any of these so far should be real. Well, if it were real, it would have a whole section of fan selfies with the dude who played Hurley from Lost being mistaken as the guy who played Hagrid. <laughs> you know that happens to him all the time. He's like, he probably just goes with it now because no, every Lost is so lo- forgotten at this point. He's like, yeah, I'm that riding guy. the Hagrid train. Yeah, that's me. Want to Hag- see me do my impersonation? Is it, no, no, I'm not. Not What's, me. I'm not going to do it. Okay, I mean, he probably says that. He does. Yeah, I've heard him say it. Uh, should, gotten, should have been real. You've gotten two right, Link. You got to mm. get four more right to get that mm. subscription. Right. Stained Glass Quarterly. The Stained Glass Quarterly features full color articles about historical and contemporary installations that will show you what others in the field are doing. And Why when would I talk about the field? I mean the stained glass field. I would hope that they're full color. You know, yeah, if it was a black it and really white magazine it wasn't, yeah. of stained glass windows, <laughs> be like, uh, mm-hmm. yeah. uh, cancel. Mm. I'd cancel. Oh, this. you'd cancel the subscription. Um, mm, I, don't, I I think that the subscriber base is waning for this one. Um, but I do think that it exists. Uh, You're right, Link. It is real. <laughs> I wasn't gonna let you change your answer because you got there so fast. I was like, nope, it's real. Got to get it. It's real. Uh, yeah, I'm it, saying this one's real. It features an article, a recent article, Windows of Kansas City. Beautiful there. The stained glass in Kansas, uh, Kansas City out. is amazing. Let's keep rolling it. How about this one? Girls and Corpses magazine. A magazine featuring pictures of beautiful, scantily clad young beauties. Okay. Posing with hideous, decaying, festering corpses. Man, there's man, there's people who are into anything. Yeah. I th- but I get this one. Man. Don't say you get it, because... I'm just saying... What I do you re- mean you get I it? I just... I understand. What, what do you... What, what do you mean you understand? So it's real, A, and B, you understand? You're right, Link, it is real, and B, yes, I understand. I'm signing up because the vol- the volume six winter medical malpractice issue features an article on how to do your own autopsy. That's what I'm interested in. <laughs> Not the girls or the corpses. Oh, okay, that's wh- how you understand. Yeah, yeah, if it was girls Who or- am I working with If it with was here? girls or corpses, I wouldn't be, <laughs> but it's girls and corpses. Uh, you can always just focus real. on the girl. How about this? Uh, similar theme, dads and dogs. <laughs> a Faults. Mag- a magazine with mostly a female reader base featuring photographs of hot dads and the dogs they false, love. False, false, false. <laughs> fake, made up, sad. Link, actually, this one is fake. Uh, but I'm you know what? so glad. If it were real, you'd be familiar with it because you and Jade were featured on the November 2013 issue. <laughs> oh, look, look at that. Link, Neil, and dog. Jade. Oh. Dad bods and doggy paws. Uh, you're on a roll, Link. I uh, <laughs> just got to get one more right. Ugh magazine. Ugh magazine. Ugh is an outlet for millennial feminist angst and enthusiasm. <laughs> millennial feminist angst and enthusiasm? Yeah, we got angst and we got enthusiasm. Uh, no, no, they got to make a choice. It's either no, angst or enthusiasm. Both. Not in one magazine you can't. I feel like the women can have both, man. One magazine cannot contain the angst and enthusiasm of millennial women. That's why this is false. You're wrong, Link. It oh, is it's real. The recent article includes Baby Feminist, how Taylor Swift's feminist evolution is exciting, but not in game. <laughs> what? Link, it all comes down to this one. Tummy touchers. <laughs> TT, as I like to call it, focuses on the world of competitive sumo wrestling. Tummy. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> what? Tummy touchers. Because they, because they, they don't. Yeah, they do. They do they? Yeah, I do. When I see them, I thought it was the hands, not the tummy. No, if they get close enough, they tummies touch. <laughs> <coughs> Man, this is that would be tummy that touchers. would be so niche, and it wouldn't be called that. False. Really? Are you sure you're about this? False. Yes. 
You're right, yes! Link. It is fake, and you win. However, I do want to <laughs> say that this, the the uh, latest issue of Tummy Tuckers, if it <laughs> Tummy Tuckers, <laughs> that's another magazine. Tummy Tuckers, if it were real, true, would be the Sumo Underground, a hard-hitting undercover investigation into the sweaty underbelly of unregulated sumo wrestling taking place all around the globe in abandoned blockbuster video locations. <laughs> that's sweaty what's underbelly. happening in those locations. So, what people. subscription do I get? Can I choose? Can I choose? Ugh. Nope. But we got a subscription to. Uh, portable restroom operators, but it's okay. actually just on an iPad, but you're gonna check it out oh, it's on the digital. tablet form because it hasn't gotten here yet. All right, thanks for playing along with me, for liking, subscribing, and sharing the love that is this show with your loved ones. Hmm. You know what time it is. Hello, my name is Tuvia, and I'm from Jerusalem, Israel. It's time to spin the Wheel of Mythicality. Who reads magazines anymore when you can be reading our tweets? We're Rhett and Link on Twitter. Hey! Lots of fun stuff being tweeted on a daily basis. Click through to Gummoth Gamora. We're gonna become intimately acquainted with Portajon Magazine in digital. Portable Restroom Operators Magazine. magazine. You're gonna love it. Rhett is an amateur brain surgeon. Oh, wow. I like to see the root uh, of that haircut. So do you uh, well, anesthetize me first? Just, or? You just lean against my sternum. That's how I do it here. I don't have a chair. Just lean. I am the chair. You just lean back. Okay, I'm going to need something sharp. What was that motion you just did? Your glasses. Okay, I'm going to be digging. Oh! Ow! Oh, Ow! Oh! I got one that's probably not been done because I'm in the paleontology. You just look like dirt and you pee and the dinosaur bones get revealed. You become a paleontologist! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got you! <laughs>